There's a um, yard work happening outside, so I hope that that's not very annoying. Someone's mowing the lawn. Today, I wanted to share with you my favorite base, how I do my favorite, like basically the base makeup that I've been doing for a while now, because I think I've like really perfected it and it is just fantastic. So um, my skin is feeling pretty hydrated right now. When I got out of the shower, I moisturized with the Tatcha water cream. So that's all I have on my skin right now. And that's typically what I do. Uh, I like to really hydrate the skin. Okay, so uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my face. I don't necessarily always use a primer. For the most part, I use just like sunscreen. Like that's the most important thing to me. And if you watched my video about sunscreen, then you know that the Tatcha sunscreen is my favorite for underneath makeup. So that's, I am gonna be using that today, but what I like to start off with is uh, this new primer, well, it's new-ish primer by Dominique Cosmetics. This is, actually, I may have used this in a video already. I can't actually remember, but this is in collaboration with JD Weighty 180, who is an esthetician. And she has these like really relaxing ASMR like facial videos <laughs> that are like, I'm not into ASMR, but hers are so relaxing. It's like meditation, it's fantastic. Anyway, you should check her out. So they collaborated on this skincare-like Ultra Hydrating Complexion Primer. The mower is getting closer. I do have a code with Dominique Cosmetics. I think it's Alex, and I don't know how much it gets you off. And I also don't know if it applies to this, but throwing it out there, it's probably linked somewhere down below. Um, anyway, it's like a nice, it's actually very similar to the Tatcha Water Cream in texture. It smells like cucumber. I'm basically just gonna use this to kind of like rehydrate my skin to be like extra delicate around my eye area recently since I have no I have no help in that department right now. Hey would you guys be interested in me doing a video where I read like really stupid comments that I receive? Because uh I got one today that was just like so hilarious to me and I was like wondering if you guys would want me to share that with you. I do on Instagram a lot but I thought like a video where I just like read them would be really funny. I don't know. Anyway so this is fantastic it's just like super smooth, silky feeling. It absorbs really easily. All right, next I'm going to go in with my sunscreen. So this is the Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 35 PA++++. I don't know. So I apply a lot, <laughs> particularly around my eyes, on my lids. You wanna make sure that you are protecting your skin. Don't neglect your ears. Make sure you take it down your neck, blah, 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 all that stuff. So this does go on and have like a white cast, but obviously I'm wearing it underneath makeup. So it's not something that I like really worry about. If I were to have just gotten out of the shower, then I probably wouldn't go in with the uh, Dominique Cosmetics Primer because my skin would be freshly hydrated from the Tatcha Water Cream. Um, okay, so now for underneath my eyes, I have been kind of like, I don't know, I've been enjoying this eye cream. I'm, I'm not like a huge eye cream person, but this one by Sweet Chef, this is the turmeric. Did anybody else like not pronounce that correctly for like their entire lives? Vitamin C booster eye cream. It's just like supposed to be brightening vitamin C. I don't know. It looks like that's kind of like a creamy color. It's super hydrating. Again, since I have no help underneath my eyes currently, just want to make sure that that skin is like very well hydrated, very well prepped, you know? I'm obsessed with symmetry. It needs to be exact. And then I'm just going to like dot this underneath my eyes, keeping it like right underneath my eyes because it is very hydrating. So I don't want to take it like everywhere. So if you have dry skin and you find that you're getting a lot of creasing or just like a crepey texture from your concealer underneath your eyes, you might not be hydrating enough, but you can also hydrate too much. Like you want to make sure that your skin isn't soaking wet. Um, I am going to let this sit while I go in with uh, a pore filling primer. So I've been using this one from e.l.f. This is the Poreless Putty Primer. It's very similar looking, <laughs> I have to smell it, to the Tasha one, which I think I just threw out because I didn't like it. I got it because a while back I was watching a Tati video and she was raving a bit about it. And I love Tatcha, so I picked it up and I just could never make it work. It always broke up on my skin. This does not do that, but basically I just, using my finger, will place this in any area where, it also feels, feels very cooling is confusing but nice but anywhere that i have like fine lines um or just like maybe a little bit more texture uh where i just like feel like i need to smooth out 
my skin a little bit more. So obviously I've got my, um, my really great like angry frown line that's coming in nicely here. I have a very expressive face. So up here, these guys. And I like to kind of pat it into the skin because that just kind of helps like fill in those pores, fill in that area or those lines. In this area, this is where like I tend to have larger pores. So around my nose, I also always get like foundation breaking up around my nose for some reason. It's just one of those things. So I like to focus it right here, basically all over my nose. That's typically where like pores are more visible, you know, this whole area. And then this might seem like extra, but I actually really like putting it underneath my eyes as well because I have kind of like pebbled looking skin underneath my eyes. So especially like right here on the corner. So we are using, I mean, I'm using a lot of products, but like it's all very small amounts, you know? So it's not building up to these thick layers on the skin. It's just nice light. I love light layers. I think that's like the best thing for makeup. We're looking, we look great. We look fucking great. Now, before I go in with my foundation, I like to color correct underneath my eyes to try and get rid of some of this darkness. But if you don't have that problem, don't worry about it. I don't know where it went. So I like to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the shade, this is the craziest. It's the shade Light Ivory. I've talked about this before, but it's legit peach. It's got the little brush that you push up. I don't, I'm not wild about that situation. Usually like way too much comes out, but I'm just gonna place this right here. Basically just like where my, my darkness is. Sometimes I pop a little bit right there. If I remember to. Actually, I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna put it right here too. And then I've just got this little uh, BH brush. They've got like a bunch of different collections. So it's from the Weekend Vibes uh, collection. It's the number nine. And then I'm just going to blend it out. I'm trying to keep that stuff where I put it. I am looking for color corrector suggestions. If you have any good ones, I don't like the Becca one, just so you know. Uh, I like a very creamy, full coverage, but not too like wet formula. So any suggestions are welcome. So I'm focusing it basically just in that area that's like pretty sunken. And if it stresses you out that I don't take it up all the way, it's because I have creasing there and no matter what, the product will crease. So I don't take it up all the way. And I don't know why that causes you stress. Sometimes I'll turn it around and then go in and do a little more blending. And then around the edges, in like the areas that like I don't need, you know, that peach corrector, I'm just gonna do some buffing. That's what I like about this brush. It's like a little blending brush. It's synthetic, so it puts down like a nice amount of product. Then I can go in and kind of like buff around those edges. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. And my favorite formula recently has been the LC Cosmetics Micro Silk Foundation. This is in the shade Cameo. And I mix it, I actually opened this up, like pulled out the thing and then mixed in a little bit of my NYX color correcting liquid to make it more olive. Cause Cameo is the closest in value to my skin tone, but uh, it's, I can't actually remember what, I don't know if it pulls like more pink or more orange, but I used my green to make it a little more. So I always kind of like mix it up. You can actually see it's more olive up here and then it kind of gets more uh, neutrally. And then to apply that, I'm using this, this is actually a concealer brush. I always call it a brush. Sponge by e.l.f. But uh, I've been using it for foundation and I kind of love it because it's like more precision, you know, but it's long. So you get like a little bit more area with the precision. I don't know if that makes sense. And I like to do sections of my face. So I'll start by placing it on my cheek and pressing it into my skin and then slowly like blending it outward. And that kind of allows me to slowly build up my coverage without going in with like way too much. But also this foundation is literally like skin. Like there is no way to build up this foundation too much. It, no matter what, the formula is just so incredibly flawless. It's probably the best foundation that I have ever used for that, for that kind of finish. If you're looking for like something ridiculously full coverage, this probably isn't going to be the one for you. But if you want something that's going to like even out your skin tone and just look incredibly natural, uh, and then if you're, if you feel like relying more on spot concealing breakouts and stuff, this is the one. And then especially in those areas where I place the pore refining primer or pore filling primer or whatever the fuck that was, 
um, I'm just really, really pressing it in. I do see a lot of people talking about how they like to start with the center of their face. I actually don't. I start with the outer perimeter of my face and then slowly bring it inward, um, especially because I am gonna be going in with a concealer and I like highlighting with concealer, so it doesn't really make any sense to put the majority of the coverage in that area or the product, especially if I'm going to be going in with a concealer. If you're not, then, I mean, it's pretty much preference, but. And then I'm gonna take, take whatever's left over on my sponge and really press it into my nose. All right, so I like to use two different concealers. So I use a more full, full coverage concealer at the end, which is my Kevin Kwan concealer. But first I want to do a little bit of highlighting and I'm going to use, I actually don't know. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna use the uh, Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in the shade number two. So I like to highlight right there. Right here, I'm gonna highlight this area as well as the sides of my nose. And I'm gonna leave this area open for now. Actually, I'm gonna place that there. <laughs> This is a fresh LC Cosmetics velvet sponge. Look, I didn't rip the bottom, I cut it. Isn't that fun? So I'm basically just highlighting the areas of my face that I like to accentuate a little bit more. I like to accentuate those cheekbones. So I want to highlight right here or any areas that I tend to get maybe like a little bit darkness. And then I like to highlight the sides of my nose because it helps to kind of narrow it out a little bit. Why does that always make me look so yellow when I first come back? Um, okay, so I just went in with like a initial brow fill and then did like a light contour on my nose. Not that you can really see it. Before I finish off my concealer, that's like the last thing that I do, I am going to contour and bronze and I'm gonna be using my KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. So I'm gonna go in with light medium first. Uh, and I'm using this brush by Elena Bad Badro, 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 which is just like, a, it doesn't have a name on it, but it's just like this duo fiber synthetic brush. I'm gonna pick up my contour shade. So this is light medium and do a light contour on my cheekbone. Duo fiber brushes are great for this because they make blending creams really easy. I always wipe off, wipe off my brush after I put that down and then I'll kind of like turn my brush a little wider and go in and blend. This can remove um, coverage though, so you wanna just keep that in mind. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my jawline, double chin. I have a video on this if you've never seen it. And then for my bronzer, I'm gonna use medium KKW Beauty Contour Stick with the same brush. So I like to do kind of like a combination of padding and buffing motions. And then same thing for my cheekbones. I like to do, place it like where I put my contour and then the difference is that I kind of like bring it out a little bit more. And then I'll turn my brush wide and blend it onto my cheek. All right, I'm gonna finish off the eyes. So, or the concealer, I guess. And for the ultimate coverage for underneath my eyes, I like to use the Kevin Aquan concealer. This is the Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX03. This is so full coverage. It's expensive, but it is so worth it. This amount is going to last me the rest of my life. Lately, what I've been doing, rather than like putting the concealer down with a brush and then blending it out with the sponge, I've been actually like just dipping my sponge in the cap, not the whole thing, but it's just picking up a little bit and then going, just going straight in with this. I don't know why I started doing this, but it, it seems to me like when I put the product down with a brush and then start blending it out with the sponge, it kind of removes a little bit more product. This allows me to build up the coverage on top of the color corrector. It's a theory. I don't know. It seems to work for me. So I like to start it below my darkness and then slowly blend it up so that there isn't too much product where I tend to get creasing. And then I just slowly blend it out. Do you see how full coverage this concealer is? And then if I feel like I put down too much of it, then I'll just turn my sponge and pick up what's left over. But 
or what I feel like I need to, but um, first I like to go in and just sort of blend it all out. Look at the difference, isn't that crazy? <laughs> All right, clearly that is the area of my face that I like to be bread as fuck. So to set that, I am going to be using the Light Medium Setting Powder by LC Cosmetics once again. This is my favorite. I think Light Medium is kind of a strange description for this because it's extremely brightening. In fact, it's my favorite baking powder for fair skin. And to apply that, I'm using my MAC 240S brush. So I like to just take a little bit of the powder, tap it in the cap, kind of like pick it up tap it off, pick it up, tap it off. I'm gonna go back in with my sponge, make sure it's all blended out. And then, I mean, you can see the difference. This just like sets, mattifies, but it doesn't make it look incredibly dry or cakey or anything like that. It's a very smooth. All right, and then I'm just gonna use that same powder to set right here, cause I can tend to get oily in that area throughout the day. And then just right here on my chin. Now, obviously if I was going to be going in with a cream blush, I would do that before I set my face with any powder, uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Sometimes I use a powder blush. Sometimes I set my face. And then if I lately actually, I've been using the setting powder by Juvia's Place. Juvia, Juvia, right? Uh, where the fuck is it though? That's so weird. I was looking for it the other day and I couldn't find, oh, it's right here. Uh, so this is in the shade White Sands and it's just like a really nice golden, fair kind of like golden setting powder. So this is actually a really nice setting powder. I'm not gonna do that today because I kind of like the finish, but if I feel like I need to be a little bit more matte, I'll go in and set my face with this. But yeah, that's basically it, man. We're prepped and primed and ready to go. So this has been my go-to base for basically any makeup, whether it's dramatic or natural or anything, it just looks really nice. It's a uh, lightweight. You don't have to brighten this much under your knee, under, under your knee, underneath your eyes, but I really like it. I don't know, I can't seem to stop. It's just, it's the darkness. It's gotta go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Check out these products if you are looking for, I don't know, any of them that they might, what? Yeah, anyway, I highly, obviously I highly recommend all the products that I used. And uh, that's it. So check them out if you want to. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one, hopefully.